Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Hi, this is Sherry Blejo with CS3 Technology, and the tip for today is how to use the Acumatica plugin for Outlook. Let's look at recording email communications. I'm going to show you how this is done by using a real client of ours, eLinks Technology. They gave us permission to use them, and we will gladly give them a bit of PR. Thanks, eLinks who provides technology tools that monitor and manage well sites. So let's begin at looking at the Activities tab for eLinks. You can see there are many emails that are already attached to their account. How did they get there? Well, let's pop over and we'll look at that in Outlook. You can see here that I've narrowed the emails down so that they're related to eLink, and most of them are from just Don and Steve. Steve is an employee at eLinks, and Justin is an employee here at CS3. You can see that I have the Acumatica Outlook plugin already installed on my Outlook account. The icon is here in my Outlook ribbon. So while I have the email highlighted or opened, I just click on the Acumatica icon and it initiates a search with the email address from Outlook against the email address inside Acumatica. You can see that it found the mail of Steve, who is a contact record attached to eLinks, giving me confirmation that I indeed have located the correct account. Once this connection is made, you can see I have various options. I can view Steve's contact record. I can view eLink's account record. I can log activities, which is what we're going to do. I could also create a case or a service ticket. And I can also create a new opportunity, all straight from within Outlook. To insert this email, we're going to click on Log Activity. After I select this, I get a choice of exactly where on the eLinks account do I want to attach this email. To a contact, which is the default as you can see, to a case or service ticket, or do I want to attach it to an opportunity. And in this example, we're going to select opportunity. As a side note, all activities can be seen at the account level in Acumatica. If you select a contact, your view of activities will be narrowed to those that were attached to that specific contact. And the same is true for cases and opportunities. So this is a great way to organize your communications inside Acumatica. Once I click on opportunity, then it opens up this new field for me to use. And I can either use the spyglass or the smart search to pick an opportunity that already exists. I'm just going to grab this first one. And then all I have to do is click Create. And that full email is now logged inside Acumatica. So we'll pop over to Acumatica. I'm going to click Refresh. And now I can see that this new communication has been added that's dated 121. So that one's pretty simple and straightforward. But how about this new option that was included with the latest Acumatica release? I can now associate an email to a different account or company. And let's use this email from Justin. Remember, he's a CS3 employee. And whenever I click on Acumatica, it looks up his email address and, of course, brings up CS3. But I really want this logged against Steve's company, eLinks. In the Person field, I can use the Spyglass again or the Smart Search. And I'm going to type in Steve's name. You can see that it's found Steve, and you can see it gives me a message asking me if this is the association I really want to make, which I do. And then I have those same choices again, view or log or create. Again, I'm going to log an activity. And in this case, we'll just attach it to the contact. We'll attach it to Steve. But I don't really care for this subject line. By default, the description comes from the subject line in the email. I want to change this. I click 
create. Back in Acumatica, click my refresh, and there's that email that Justin originated with a less cryptic description dated 121. And that's how it's done. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you.